Farmer Benny Wenzel says he has lost eight cattle in the recent fires. He says most had to be put down because they were in excruciating pain. We've lost a thousand hectares in grazing and uh, cattle wise we've lost as well. Um, eight that I had to put down in the last two days and about 20 that I've been treating which most likely some of them will also not make. 25-year-old Sisonke Henana runs her family's farm after her father died earlier this year. She doesn't know how she will manage after the fire destroyed hundreds of hectares. I was still trying to find my feet learning about this field when this happened. I lost over 800 hectares of grazing land and I've got over 60 cows and 20 are pregnant and five just gave birth last week so there's nothing left to graze on the electricity supply poles cables fencing because now we're facing a risk of our cows getting out farmers in komani have described the recent fires as the worst they have experienced in decades some are now left to pick up the pieces after the infrastructure and livestock were destroyed in the blaze now the, the weather conditions recently haven't been they've been very susceptible to runaway fires i know you always hear on the radio that they are well they were and yeah i don't know if you if you see there behind us is another piece there's another piece that's been lit we're very difficult even for ourselves because of the resources the limited resources that we had because uh, the wind were very strong so we needed even uh, more uh, choppers and 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 fire trucks uh, but we did our best to make sure that at least we protect our communities Kresani District Municipality says the extent of the damage caused by the recent fires will be announced soon. Ronald Masinda, Komani, in the Eastern Cape.